second tutorial um, I'm gonna get into is sit down circles and I'm gonna preface all these tutorials I don't know if I mentioned it in the coaster one but I am no you know OG season veteran at this I've got a year's worth of experience not even actually maybe like eight months because if you've seen my five month progress video, I didn't ride from September all the way through September 2020 all the way through March 2021. I've been riding since March and it's um, middle of July right now. I'm not a veteran, you know, I'm not speaking off of like 10, 15, 20 years of experience. This is eight months. This is what I've learned in the beginning. Hopefully that'll help because as good as it is to get like a veteran's opinion or not opinion, but advice on some of these tricks, like I think it's beneficial to hear like how in the beginning to at least get you a start because that you know you can hear it from an expert and they've already got everything nailed down but you know you don't know that beginning journey on like those little tips that like helps you get past a stuck point or whatever and that's what i'm trying to bring to the table here so if i'm explaining something wrong please correct me in the comments if you have questions ask in the comments sit down circles here i can do them very comfortably with my left foot dragging um, I haven't really put a lot of time into trying to bring the leg up. The first thing, which isn't completely necessary, but my idle, I like to run right around 3K for sit down and stand up circles. I found 4K works pretty well also. Uh, you almost don't need to use throttle. So if you're trying to do no handed circles, I might recommend 4K because there were a couple times where I was not even applying throttle and it was, it was taking me for a spin. So, but right around 3K, but that's not completely mandatory. Um, I also run 1437 sprocket setup. So for sit down circles, goal is to keep your weight on the inside. Um, if you learn how to wheelie dragging your leg, this positioning might be pretty normal to you, but I never learned that way. I just kind of sat normally and let this leg dangle until I finally found the courage to put it on the peg. And then um, when I wanted to start learning circles, sit down circles, I had to like do a couple straight line attempts to actually dragging my leg. And it was really odd for me. It took, it felt way more, um, you know, uncontrollable compared to, to learning the wheelie the normal way. You want to keep your weight to the inside. So I'm sitting basically with my right, left cheek off, right cheek on the seat. So you're kind of like, um, you're kind of like splitting it right here. That's kind of where I kind of line up the center of my body for um, positioning. So kind of line that up, make sure I'm good on the foot brake, make sure I'm in gear first. And then we'll just clutch up. Okay, so we've clutched up. I'm dragging. This is kind of how I started when I was learning that foot drag is I would just do like a straight line like that. When I first started trying these, these took, these take a lot of seat time. I always thought it was cliche reading in the Facebook forums, like, oh, it's just seat time. I was like, nah, I, I should figure this out faster than, you know, people. I thought I could do it, but it's not. You gotta spend a lot of time in the lot trying this shit and just attempt after attempt after attempt. And the beginning of circles for me kind of look like, kind of look like this go and probably get to about there and feel like I was high siding so I would have to set it down and then as I progressed it got to about maybe a J almost before I felt like I was gonna high side I got to like right here before I had uh, you know I was gonna run into these trailers. I couldn't commit to that dip or whatever and bring it around. There was a lot of attempts of that like half or the even more. I think I would basically get like half a circle before it felt like I was gonna get thrown out. And then I started, I was finally able to make a semi-circle like this and then just continue the other way. Somehow, just after a numerous amount of attempts, I was able to complete that, you know, semi-circle and keep it up. And that was like a big progression point for me. I thought like, you know, I was on good track there. When you're in the sit-down circle, I keep that weight on the inside and keep it, you gotta keep it far back and that you'll feel the dip when you go far back. And like, 
again, I feel like there's such a sweet spot for these things. So, like, you'll know... Um, it'll just start to carry you around. And if it's going too tight, like, you're leaning this way, push the bike with your, with your arms. You can push the bike away from you, and it'll kind of, like take you out of the circle but it'll like the bike will stay up but it'll take you out of the circle and you can kind of like regroup and come back you know drop it back and get back into the circle so i'll try and show some examples with that like i said with the coast stuff this is a big feel thing like the biggest thing is to kind of line yourself up on the edge of that seat one cheek on one cheek off keep that way to the inside keep the bike tall um you know, RPM's decently high, but the faster you, faster you clutch up, the better. So, I can kind of steer it where I like now. Like, I'll take her right around here. And it's just kind of carrying me. And I'm not using a lot of brake input. It's more, more my body is what's um, like responsible for the circle. If you give it too much brake, you're gonna high side yourself. You're gonna like feel like you're getting thrown out of the circle. So when I was learning that like initial dip is always scary. So then I would just end up giving too much brake, and then it would throw me out of the circle. So. You know, with the idle up higher like this, it carries you pretty well, but just keep the weight on the inside. And I haven't mastered any of the clutch work with these circles to get them like ridiculously tight. But I mean, I'll show you what I can get with no clutch work. So right there, I was able to like, here we'll go in here. And I'm leaning in and standing pretty straight up. I was kind of gonna get close to stalling there. And it's just a matter of keeping that weight onto the inside and not using too much brake. Um, the brake will throw you out. Um, you know, and like I said, big feel thing, big seat time thing, it's gonna take you a while. You know, you wanna be high and keep it slow. You know, you'll feel, you'll kind of feel the dip um, when you get tall enough. It's a bunch of shit just laying over here. But you steer it and you kind of use like, you know, if you're cutting in, lean, keep that weight on the inside and just steer her. See, right, I was gonna stall right there. That's where a clutch work's gonna come into play and actually you know, prevent you from stalling and you can keep the wheelie going. I don't know what else there is for me to say on this topic because that's kind of the extent of the knowledge that I have on it. It's just you, I, I mean, I feel like I'm just repeating myself here, but you know, clutch up, you know, the seating position, stay to the inside, clutch up high, get it slow right away, you'll feel that dip going. Um, and you know if it's coming too too tight you can pull the bars away from your body and it'll straighten up and you can keep the wheelie going but you're not gonna be in a circle and that gives you time to like you know drop it back again regroup you know if you need to steer it it's like I'll see if I can give an example of that it's kind of hard to tell and like I'm just letting here, I'm, see, I pulled away. I pulled the bike away from my body and took it out here. That's the gist of that. Um, like I said, big feel thing, big seat time thing. Uh, PSI, 
Um, I don't know how much it'll affect it, but I, I think I'm at like 11 PSI right now. And it certainly can go higher. Like if you put it up to 25 and try and do circles, you'll feel what the dip feels like. It'll take you if you lean into it. Hardest stash in the carpet. Yeah, we trapping out apartment.